Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about torsion in a building. Alright, so uh, let us assume that uh, we got a, a building over here. Alright, okay, so uh, so this is the top view of the building or you can see the plan of the building, right? And so let us assume that uh, this building is acted upon by the lateral load. Okay, so it can be from any direction, alright? Due to these uh, lateral loads, let us assume that this part of the building, so this part of the building deflects more as compared to the, this part of the building okay so let's just assume it and so in that case what happens is that this building undergoes a rotation all right so this rotation we call is a rotation of the building we call as the torsion okay so simply uh, the torsion in a building is the rotation of the building due to unequal displacement of the parts of the building all right okay so uh, there are different cases in which uh, this torsion can happen in a building so uh, the case one is so let's see the first case when a building uh, can undergo torsion all right so let's assume that uh, so we got a building and the building is in irregular shape all right so irregular shaped irregular shape buildings building okay so in that in this case what happens is that so if it is acted upon by the lateral load okay so this portion undergoes a displacement uh, more uh, differently as compared to this portion all right so due to this reason this area over here is stressed reason all right and uh, case two okay so suppose that we got a regular building like this right so uh, this is the elevation of the building okay and so this is two portion and let us assume that one half of the building has higher mass as compared to the other half. maybe you know in this half it may be a library library or any storage house or you know in a machine room you know and in the other halves in the in the other half of the building let's assume that it's just a bedroom all right and so in this case what happens is that uh, due to this unsymmetry in the mass of the building so whenever there is the okay so this is the plan right so there is the lateral load uh, acting on this building so this portion goes more displacement as compared to this portion and due to this reason also it undergoes torsion right so case 3 okay so uh, all right okay so case 3 may be that okay so suppose uh, so this is the another elevation of the building okay so this is your building and so these are okay all right so you got infill wall over here infill wall over here infill wall over here but you don't have any wall in this portion right so you got only columns from here to here so this portion also so when this building is acted upon by the lateral load this column undergoes more deflection as compared to these columns right so due to this reason also uh, this uh, building undergoes torsion okay so here we talked about the uh, regular buildings right so uh, so here we, we see that if we have a regular building or a symmetrical building then we can overcome this torsion okay so uh, but uh, let's assume that we got a regular building right but what happens is that if we got a staircase at one edge or you might have shear walls over here and no shear wall here right so staircase void here but no staircase void in on the other side right and shear wall here as well right so in this situation also it looks very symmetrical right it's a very regular building but this is called as the false symmetry false symmetry and it is again uh, you know it this building also suffers from the torsion so it is best practice to you know uh, add these staircase at the middle portion of the building you know to avoid to maintain the regularity of this uh, building okay regularity in the shape so how do we know that this building might fail in torsion so significant torsion will be taken as the condition where the distance between the story center of rigidity all right so center of rigidity we denote by k and the center of mass we denote by m so suppose m right so uh, if the distance so so suppose that we got center of visibility of the building over here and center of mass of the here and we know the distance from here to here suppose it's d right right and we know the our uh, distance from here up to here so this is the width of the building let us assume that it's w all right so if d is greater than 20 percent of w in this case we have to redesign this building all right so redesign the building 
so this building will fail in torsion in such situation all right so you have to check center of distance from center of rigidity and the center of mass all right if this torsion is not considered while designing the building then there might be severe damages that are seen in a building all right so you must always consider the torsion in a building while designing it all right so uh, all right guys so uh, this was for this video hope this video was helpful and and sorry for not posting any videos uh, you know within a span of I think two weeks right so I got really busy and I, I couldn't make any videos and I don't have any videos in the reserve right okay so this is the first video that I'm recording now and I'll publish it within a few minutes and all right so so thank you for watching and take care